Hey hackers, I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life. It's around 96 degrees here in Raleigh. It's around 5.30 in the afternoon and I need to do a review for this Acer L2 36 watt. I have had it for about two weeks. The um, company sent it to me and I really was thinking maybe I didn't need this or I didn't want to do it and I really went and did the research on the website and I really liked what I saw and I'm going to get tell you 10 different reasons this is my favorite laser cutter so far and it there's a really surprising thing that it's an accessory that's coming soon and it has to do with what I want to make this fall. So I went ahead and did all the test on the Acer. I'm sorry the table is shaking. Um, I went ahead and did this is a little bit you know wide grain of course this could be a little bit resolution this is some AI art that I made um, with uh, mid journey and then I did the letters and stuff like that so it does the detail I went ahead and cut some really thick materials as it says it cuts up to 30 millimeters which is about three quarters of an inch empirical and not only does it do it extremely well but obviously there's no burn marks there's no sanding in here and I have a really nice disc I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to use this disc for in a little bit. Um, I also have another project that's not part of this video, but I just kind of want to plug it. I am making a mobile engraving business uh, sort of setup that a system that you could actually use. That's just going to be a video. I'm making that soon. So there's going to be mobile, um, in, you know, with engraving for rotary, the two different rotary attachments. I did a, go ahead and I used the the eight surf 36 watt and I did this rotary attachment here and I burnt this off so that works really well however this video is not about the review of a rotary attachment it's just about these 10 things that I loved and the first thing is it is very fast and I'm talking like four times as fast as I'm used to I'm like okay this will become extremely evident if you don't have homing right in all transparency, if it bangs into the side, doesn't cause any damage, but light berm, you can tell this machine to go places that it won't go. You need to understand, even though that it has six limit switches, you can confuse it. So uh, what's really important is that this machine has a lot of safety features and it has a very small learning curve with light burn. So one of the things that I wanna mention in case a lot of people bag out of the video at this point is there is an included cable. It's a USB-C cable. This, um, the Acer 36 watt does something really cool. Um, it has the cables on the side. So at the top, you have your USB and you have your off, you have a nice little key and your power button and things like that, but all the cables are nicely positioned on the side. The cable that comes with it works. If you're having trouble getting Lightburn to identify your machine, your cable is wrong. That's probably the case with Arduinos and other machines. If you don't have data transfer and power with a USB-C cord, it's not going to work. Make sure you don't lose the included USB-C cable. So the machine is unbelievably fast, 54,000 millimeters per second. It's about four times faster than certain ones. It has a very powerful 36 watt. It uses um, six six watt diodes that are in conjunction and it has a really cool meter here at the front that gives that shows what power it has so that's really kind of not only fun to look at but it has a bunch of things going on with the z-axis and this replaceable um replaceable laser head so if you want to upgrade it or keep one as backup that's that it also has a really nice guide and We'll go on to some other things. So it definitely is wor it's working really well with light burn and the flame detection is a really nice safety feature. You can turn that off, but you can do that in the removable um, LCD that it has. It also has a gyroscope for safety. So if it senses that it's not level or it falls off the table or a kid comes by, it will actually turn off and not be lasering everywhere else. That's really kind of a crazy cool feature considering the laser could shoot up into your eyes. By the way, where all protection is possible and if there's smoke, you don't want to breathe that in. Make sure that you have the proper ventilation. 
Okay, so the gyroscope, it has the cross position autofocus. So it has a Z axis and not only can that movable Z axis with limit switches be used for autofocus, but it also can be used for depth leveling. So as soon as you cut one pass, you can set the next pass to drop down in the Z and it'll make your entire print even faster with along with the actual um, stepper motors that are on, there on the X and the Y that are going super fast. It has a 410 by 410 work area. I would prefer a 430, but I'm going to tell you about this. The thing that I'm most excited about that's coming to this laser that cutter that um, I or an engraver that at the very end that I'm going to be utilizing. So um, like I mentioned, it has the touch controls, um, removable um, screen. It has a uh, Wi-Fi bit built in. You can actually see the machine and connect up with the machine. So other machines have this removable now, but you can actually do offline printing. You don't have to connect. I have a light burn machine right here that I got connected. You don't have to connect, but you can. So lots of different options there. Automatic air assist. Air assist not only helps you create more powerful cuts and engraves, but it also eliminates those burn mark so if you're ever wondering those puzzle pieces that are so perfectly done they were done with air assist so any of the soot or the black is blown away and you don't have this this one turns on and off automatically which is a really nice feature and you don't have you can adjust the how strong it is but it will turn off so it doesn't make that sound the entire time Okay, you can resume engraving if you have power outage. I have not tested this feature yet to be complete transparent, but I do believe that is going to be huge. Again, that's something that you can turn on or off inside of the, the control panel. Um, it has the uh, six limit switches. It has syncing Z axis. I explained that earlier, how it can actually go down in depth based on the cut. And the, this is what I'm really excited about. So the machine is unbelievably built. All of the, the, all of the mechanisms, everything are in these beautiful rail systems. It is really top notch. I can't imagine having an enclosure that would, could fit a rotary attachment with this machine because it is gorgeous. I mean, it is definitely, as my standards, is Apple products and even a Glowforge product, Epilog or whatever else machine that you, that you really look up to, the quality is unbelievable. And so to be able to put in, putting this through, constantly cutting out different circles and putting this through the gamut, I really do believe that it is just a solid machine. So um, one of the things I wanted to mention to you is it, the accessories. The L2s are having longer, um, I believe the Y rails, which will double it from 410 to 820. That is what I want to use it for. I want to make kinetic sculptures and I want to have some pretty big things. And with the open architecture of this and not in a thing and it basically has passed through, I'll be able to cut very large wheels and gears out with the machine, getting those accessories. So stay tuned for that video when I do a review on those rails. Very excited about that. It has height extensions. You're gonna have to go up if you want to do rotary. That's why I'm gonna talk about this sort of rotary um, mobile laser engraving uh, video that I'm making soon that shows you how you can make money doing rotary, doing Yeti cups and coolers and Stanley cups mobily, even swiping credit cards, everything is gonna be in that video. So stay tuned for that. Um, so you're going to need height extensions. It has those. Obviously, you can hack those and you think about your enclosure plan because you're definitely going to want an enclosure because you either have to think you have to do something about the smoke or do it outside because just to be straight up, this is not something that is safe to breathe in whatever it is, if it's plywood or wood. I know people believe, breathe in a fire, but mm, you need some type of air, air filtration. So the Y extensions, huge. That is my going to be something that I'm really looking forward to. The next video um, I'm going to make is I'm going to engrave some granite with this. So stay subscribed or get subscribed. 
Um, like the video if you thought it did a decent job. Dislike it if you thought that it sucked. If you have any comments of how I can do things better, um, let me know. I am in temporary space right now. I'm building a bigger garage, but I did downsize my home. I work in my garage. The Hack Lab is my home. So I'm going to build a really, really cool space that looks like it. But right now, I'm in Grandma's garage. And I think most people... I don't know if they have dedicated cool spaces to laser. Maybe they're doing it in their closet. And maybe this summer where I haven't had a place to, my shop is completely a disaster. It's all in storage. Um, I'm able to learn what other people may be working in. So that gives me a little bit of understanding. So anyways, peace. Have a, um, a blessed day or night, whatever it, time of the day it is. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Take care. Love you. Bye.